Social dominance is another cause of intergroup conflict. High status groups tend to be more dominant and control more of the total resources. As a result, they try to maintain their power, while low status groups seek to gain more of it. Individuals then vary in their orientation to social domination, the degree to which they support or reject power differences between groups. In experiments, people who support the unequal distribution of power will take less, if it means outgroup members will also receive less. But those who resist power differences tend to be more cooperative when playing conflict simulations. Yet another cause of intergroup conflict is moral exclusion. This is the process whereby outgroups are viewed as morally inferior and undeserving of the same rights. It develops over time as the in-group rationalizes the exclusion by blaming the outgroup for it. Moral exclusion is partly responsible for some of the world's most intense ethnic conflicts, acts of genocide, and wars. The final cause we'll explore is de-individuation, the process of members losing their sense of individuality and being less subject to their normal constraints against deviant behavior. A real-life example happened after a Final Four basketball game in March 2012, when the University of Kentucky won against its rival, the University of Louisville. After the game, fans of the winning team swarmed the streets in celebration, but it quickly turned into a riot. They lit cars on fire, broke windows, tore down street signs, and threw glass bottles at the other team's fans. De-individuation occurred in this situation for a few reasons. First, psychological arousal was high. The fans' team had just won an important game, and many had been drinking alcohol for hours. Second, accountability was low. They traveled in large crowds wearing blue shirts, blue hats, and blue painted faces. As a result, their personal identities were suppressed while their social identities emerged, leading them to conform more to the group than their own moral code. In some cases, dehumanization also plays a role. This happens when in-groups view out-groups as less than human, labeling their members as animals or savages. In-groups then use these views to justify and rationalize their negative treatment of out-groups.